so we're still in Ponta Delgada on uh, San Miguel Island in the Azores and we thought we would do a little Holland America tips for cruising. Yeah. So what have you got for number one? Number one, we just found out that um, especially if you're in an inside room or an ocean view room where they're no longer giving fridges, you can rent a fridge for two US dollars a day which is fantastic, isn't it? Yep, and they're big enough to uh, fit in the cabin conveniently. Yeah. Put uh, a couple of bottles of wine in and, and some beer. Yeah. So for two US dollars a day, why wouldn't you? Yeah, so we're back in the fridge business. We are, nice which, and cold beer. Which is great. Um, one of the little secrets that um, is one of my specials is the afternoon tea that they do at three o'clock. So every day, um, restaurant and get afternoon tea with little sandwiches and scones with jam and fresh cream. And it's a great social occasion isn't it? It is. So you get to sit with other people around yep. a big table, have and a good natter. Shoot the breeze, find out what people are doing, what trips have been going on. But a lot of people don't know about it and you know what? It's one of those little hidden things that we wanted to tell you about. So go and enjoy it. I really like it. What do you have for number three, Tane? Number three is, oh, one of my favorites. Not only do you get 24 hour room service, is the this, best thing. Is this going to be the most important meal of the day? It is, because we get breakfast delivered to the room. You can specify what time of day you want. So if you're going to go ashore, you can have an early one. You they start delivery at 6 a.m. Yeah. And um, if it's an at-sea day, you can lie in bed and have it a little later. A little leisurely, sort and of 8 o'clock. They have a, a really nice choice that you can have. It's it's a set menu, so yeah. there's, there's about uh, four or five free options, and then there's about four or five paid options. Yeah. We just tend to get the uh, the free one. Um, now, you can, if, if you're crafty like us, you can specify things like... Um, we don't want any bacon or sausage or stuff like that. The other thing that we always write on is a big carafe, please. So we get a, a giant pot of coffee. Because if you don't say great. that, you just get the small pot of coffee. And it goes too quickly. <laughs> so we love breakfast in the room. And that's, it is free. It is. On you don't Holland pay America. for it on Holland America. So that's another real neat thing they have. So um, let's just go for a walk around and we'll come up with the next three okay. of our Holland America. Here's uh, part two of our secret things about a Holland America cruise you might not know. So number 14, what do you got? Is happy hour. As you know, we all like happy hour oh, when we're at home. that's our favorite time of day after the most <laughs> important meal of the day. But what is really good on Holland America is they actually have two lots of happy hours. Wow. One is about, it's usually between 4.30 and 5 and the other's around 8 to 9 at night. And basically you buy one drink and you get the second drink for two US dollars. Now to clarify, it has to be two of the same drink. So, so uh, yeah. Tina would get two glasses of wine, pay two. full price for the first glass, and then the second would be two, two, dollar, two dollars. Two dollars. So it makes it a pretty good deal. So for instance, if I have a beer, I would order two beers, and that's working out to be about, what? Uh, well, one beer is seven, and the other is two, so that's nine, four fifty a beer. So instead of seven dollars a beer, at happy hour, you get it for four fifty. Which is a great deal. So the, the other thing we found out too, which is one of the waiters actually suggested it, is if you're like me, and you like wine to drink, is instead of buying it by the it by the bottle and then take the bottle around with you. So instead of Tina's wine would be nine dollars per glass but if you buy a bottle of it it's only six dollars a glass. because yeah, it's about thirty five dollars plus tax. So, so, yeah. so if you wanted to drink wine at lunchtime in the Lido cafeteria you would order a bottle of wine. Now they can hang on to it for you or you can just keep bringing it up with you but that way you're going to reduce uh, a third of the cost of the wine, which that's pretty good. It is. It saves things, doesn't it? Very much so. So I think we're going to move to 
a less windy spot, but uh, we just wanted to... It's only two chips. I know, but it's too windy for my little furry oh. microphone. So we're going to find a more shaded area and carry on with our tip. So there's another uh, secret on a Holland America ship that you might not be aware of. And what is this, tip number five or 16? Six. So tip number six, there is a secret menu. And the secret menu is? The Indian menu. And so from the Indian menu, you can get a vegetarian curry, or they have just started introducing chicken and shrimp. But this menu isn't widely known. No. So you'd have to go and ask for it. And it's, it's for, for, for all Indian food lovers, it, it's a must have, especially we're on for 12 days. So it makes for a nice yeah. change. Yeah, and you get um, appetizers, you get a main entree, and they all come with the special pompadons and, and pickles, pickles and, and bread. Stuff. And uh, there might even be a dessert with it, I'm not sure. I think there is. And they do it on a one to seven day, don't they? So, so they, they rotate it. Yeah. So actually, we're going to be trying that out today. So we're really looking forward to that. Now, the only thing is, you can't have it in the Lido buffet. You have to have it in the main restaurant. So we have a reservation for 5.15 tonight. So we're going to go and check out the Indian menu. We are indeed. Which is great. Now, tip number seven, which is another one of my favorites, is they actually produce the daily newspaper. So we can get the Canadian or the Times. Well, they do several newspapers yeah. and they do it in several different languages as well. So there's one specifically for the Canadian and it's uh, just news highlights of yeah. what's going on in Canada. They also do the New York Times. Uh, and these are just excerpts really. So it's the major news stories. But if you're from Australia, Canada, yeah. the US, Germany, the UK, they do have one of these newspapers from, from each different country don't they and you'd go and get that at the reception area and if you're very lucky they might deliver it to your room but we haven't found that so far on this ship and also they have another page too don't they where you can get the crosswords and the sudoku, and puzzles puzzles sudoku crosswords sudoku, so they do is, have a puzzle page which is kind of neat so they're kind of um some of our favorite tips they are um, another real one that we really enjoy is the walking deck. Um, now, having said that, on the newer Holland America ships, they seem to be getting rid of the walking deck, but we are on one of the older ships here, That's which right. still has a full walking deck. They call it the lower promenade deck. It's deck six on this ship. Yeah. But the nice thing about it is it completely circumnavigates the ship. You don't have to just walk up and down one side. Um, and if you do four laps yeah. of the deck, four laps is a mile, so that's it? one mile. So it's a great way to exercise. We love to have our breakfast and then we go will for go walk. for a walk in then the morning. We, yeah, and then we don't feel so bad with all the eating and drinking, do we? That's right, we because get our exercise. <laughs> but it's a great walking deck. It's, uh, it's a teak wood as well, which is even nicer. Uh, and perhaps we'll show you that as we go along. So, any more tips, Dean? Um, we have two more. Okay. Um, this is one, another one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites, don't I? Yeah. This one's really cool. Um, in your cabin, you actually both get bathrobes, which is great. But we had found out that if you ask your steward for slippers, we actually got slippers this time. You you might or might not get <laughs> yeah, them. So they're, they're really designed for people in a balcony or a suite. They get the uh, they those get spa this, yeah. slippers. So <laughs> Tina is so hung up on those that she asked our cabin steward when we first arrived and he managed to go and find slippers. a couple of pairs. So <laughs> we have bathrobes, which is quite nice because uh, when we first got on the ship, uh, it was pretty air-conditioned in the room. So it was nice to keep you warm. It was, and now we have our slippers so we don't have to uh, walk on uh, dirty carpets or dirty tiles in the bathroom. Which is neat. 
also the bathrobes are really good because yesterday I checked out the hot tub so it means you can put your bathrobe on and go all the way up to the hot tub and then come back down and it's great yeah it is so that's good and then our last tip which um, maybe Norm can one of our favorites is the lectures so Norm can tell you a bit more about that yeah so Holland America are very good uh, at doing uh, lecture uh, series so for instance, if you're having that sea day, what do you do other than eat or drink. go to the casino and play stuff? So what they do is they, they will do a series of lectures and they have guest lecturers come on. Uh, on this particular ship, we have a, a marine biologist yeah. and he's been doing a couple of talks uh, during the voyage so far about whales and sea life. Uh, we also have um, other points of interest. The, uh, Holland America has partnered with the BBC and they have the Blue Earth series so tonight in the show lounge instead of a dance show they're going to show a movie a BBC movie about planet Earth and we have a live orchestra that's going to play the music that has been scored by the BBC specifically Which is for this movie cool, isn't it? it is so it's they're very good at giving you additional entertainment which you don't get on other cruise lines which helps fill the day and just answers a lot of questions and gives oh, some entertainment and they also um, include telling us about which port we're going to go to so yeah so before every uh, stop the day before they will come on and have, have a, a presentation tour, yeah. so yesterday they did one about Ponta Delgado and uh, told us all about what we could expect and the climate and the town how easy it is to walk from the cruise ship or which it is isn't it because we're right here and they had a map and they showed us the different points of interest of Ponta Delgado very interesting. well San Miguel Island yeah. I should say um, so we, we highly recommend uh, Holland America for having interesting activities going on and they have all the other usual things like uh, pub trivia quizzes and all that sort of thing so those are some of our tips about Holland America that you might not know so we thought we would share them with you because we've spoken to a few people and they had no idea that all this is available so we thought we would share it with you and one last thing that we can throw in as a freebie is which you once again you might not know is you can bring a bottle of wine on each oh, in your yes. carry-on luggage you can. and they won't charge you a corkage for that and that's available for you to drink in your stateroom so we both bring a bottle of wine with us and that means that we can have a pre-dinner drink in our room um, and obviously we can bring a bottle of wine that we both like which is good now you can bring an additional bottle of wine but they will charge you Corkage is 18 US dollars. Yeah. So, so anyway, my hand's about to drop off holding yeah. this camera. So that's our tips that you might not know for Holland America.